Santorini perfume. And then um, I want to go to Walmart because I need to return these nails. Well, get a, what is it called? I'm about to say duplicate. Y'all know what I'm saying. I need to switch the nails out because I got fatigue. But nothing fatigue about these fingers, honey. And I'm going to use finery before the rain. So let's get right into it, y'all. Ever since I bought my first plant, I've been looking to collect more plants. So definitely recommend some stuff that you guys like in your homes because I am addicted now. So this is everything I got so far. And I'm looking for the tart cherry juice and I'm not seeing it, y'all. So I only see just cranberry. So I may have to go to Walmart and antioxidant. My timing right now is impeccable because it's only 11.43 and I'm back in the house. And welcome in my new plant to the little plant family. I think I looked up the name before I left on how to like care for it, I think, hopefully. Um, hopefully I got the name in my video. But the tag dropped, so I can't remember exactly what type of plant this is. I just remember that I think it was good with highlight or low light, it doesn't really matter, I don't know. So yeah, I picked that up. Of course I had to triple it. Got another strawberry banana mango and kale smoothie. Now I need to be groceries. I already have eggs, but I just decided to get another thing of eggs, y'all. It's coming down. It's not really coming down, but it is raining. So that's why y'all might see a little water for the groceries. Got that. My turkey bacon. I'm thinking about doing a cabbage fast this week. I'm really not sure yet. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Or I might do like the old man thing. Or I do one meal a day. I don't know. Just thought for right now, Synergy Kombucha. My kimchi. I had to get another one of these scrub daddies because I um, was washing the dough out of my other, like with my other scrub daddy. And it's completely wrong. But then again, I have had it for like a long time. So it's on this last legs anyway. So I decided to go ahead and get another one of those. Gotta get the tart cherry juice. The other juice is good too, but it does not put me to sleep the way regular tart cherry juice. Mm, regular tart cherry juice does, y'all. I'm telling y'all, definitely get this. If you take it like 30 minutes or so before you want to go to sleep, you will be knocked out like a light. For sure. I had to go ahead and get my nails because the other ones were petite. And then I wanted to try these little strawberry hibiscus water, sparkling waters. I never had this brand. Of course, zero calorie. They're just sparkling water. So, yeah. Because I want to get back into making, like, mocktails and stuff in the summertime, springtime. And I'm just like a cute little, not cute, but good little treat that's not soda, not Sprite. I'm really trying to get back off the sodas, even though I think I have a Sprite in the fridge for sure I do. But we're trying to get back off the sodas. I'm also thinking about doing a month or we're gonna start off like maybe a week with no like no sugar at all. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get into that when we get into it. Y'all will definitely know about it once I do, for sure. But also, I'm probably gonna be putting a clip of everything that I got in my haul yesterday because I made that for um, my YouTube shorts. Well, YouTube grills, whatever, and for TikTok, so it should be playing right now. And this is just like the bonus stuff that I decided to get today that I couldn't get yesterday because we went to like three summer stores, y'all. So yeah, let me go ahead and put all of this up, and I'm gonna get into some books. So yeah, y'all saw me do the cabbage. I think two vlogs ago, two or three vlogs ago. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with the step by step. But and then I proceeded to do the step-by-step -step anyway, so just stay tuned in if you want the recipe. But I have my bacon, my bell peppers, my yellow onion, and then I need to cut the cabbage up. So we're gonna go ahead and saute the bacon. of chicken broth just eyeball it and put the top 
found it at the Cajun. I like a lot of Cajun garlic, black pepper, cayenne, and red peppers. Because I like spicy. Let me mix that in. Oh, I got a sneeze. Hold on. Hold it in. Okay. Add the bacon back in. And it's done. I just got finished cleaning up and everything. But before I sit down and read my book, I want to make a little mocktail. Really just juice because i'm not doing anything special like a you know rim or anything but also i'm reading this bible plan on the bible app it's called if he wanted to he would and y'all this first day is so good already it's about the situationship i really recommend y'all to read it and i like that at the end of it it says to write a list of the toxic things you settle for in a relationship or ways you tolerate it being treated less than you deserve and then make a list of healthy attra attractions that you want to be drawn to in a man. Ask the Holy Spirit to heal your heart and seek counsel on how to become secure in your attachment style. As you continue on this journey of breaking the cycle of toxic love patterns. And then the Bible verse that they gave with that was Psalms 139. For the director of music, a song of David. God, examine me and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there's any bad thing in me. Lead me in the way you said long ago. So I really love that. I'll be reading that every day. I think there's five days. Let me see. Yeah, there's five days. So I recommend that because the first day was really good. So I'm going to do mango. And then I'm going to do strawberry and hibiscus. I've never tasted this. So let me see what this tastes like. I already washed the thing off. It has like a slight taste of strawberry, but it's nothing crazy at all. I like that. I'm gonna do, should I do ice too? Here we're gonna do ice. Different flavors really make it feel like a mocktail, so I'm gonna add blood orange too. So let's do the mango. Just enough to do the bottom, I think. Yeah. It's pretty thick too. And then we're gonna do blood orange. Blood orange. Then we're gonna fill it the rest of the way with the strawberry hibiscus. I'm gonna need to mix it too. That's good. That is really good. More that mango. Let me put this away. I have a little bit left, so I might make another one later on, actually. Let's take this in our room and start our little reading session. I'm reading Faith by Fire by Rose McWaters. And this is actually a reread because it was so good the first time I read it. I can't remember every single thing that happened, but I know it was good. So let me read you the description. Her future was stolen from her. He threw his away. Together can they find a love powerful enough to restore them both. Charlotte Woodland is well on her way to her own fairy tale happily ever after. When her fiance Greg is killed while on a high risk mission trip. Her future, the one she'd always imagined and almost achieved, is wiped out with a single phone call. And her resulting grief drives her to abandon her faith, straining her relationships with friends and family. Logan Matthews has lived a hard life, most of it his own fault. After a bar fight gone wrong lands him in jail, he considers his life, his future utterly forfeit. But when Doc, a once lost man himself, invites Logan to join the Christian motorcycle ministry dedicated to helping men like him, 
Logan discovers the life-restoring power of grace and forgiveness. Three years later, Logan has found peace in the small southern town of Willowbow and views his work with the prodigal brothers as a form of long-term penance. That is until his past come back to haunt him by threatening the safety of a girl he just met, but may already be falling for it. Meanwhile, Charlotte remains consumed by her loss as a completely unprepared and is completely unprepared for the rugged stranger who saves her life and maybe steals her still healing heart in the process. Can, can Charlotte let go of her anger at God in order to step back into faith and the love that goes along with it? Or will her pain and Logan's past keep them from finding their future together? So let's go ahead and get into it. It's a really fast read too. So... Mm -hmm. portion of the book but I fell right to sleep because I started getting a little migraine I think I need to get the blue light glasses honestly because I'm on I'm watching the screen too much you know with work reading and everything else because I never get the physical book but I was so knocked out and I forgot to raise my volume on my phone that I had my whole family calling me y'all my whole family was calling me but my dad brought me some bread pudding that my mom made, and it is so good, it looks so good. Let me show y'all up close and personal. So that's what it's giving. Let me get a fork. I slept for so long, I really hope that I don't have a hard time going back to sleep later on, literally in like two hours, because I'm trying to go to sleep early so that I can wake up really early. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She did her thing. She did her thing. Yes. Come on now. This is so good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have this for a little bit and I'm gonna do my skincare stuff early so that I can lay back in the bed. So I'll talk to you in a minute. It is currently one o'clock, well no, 12 30 in the morning, and I cannot go to sleep. And I realize that it's because I took a four hour nap. Once it gets to four hours, my body processes it as I'm just sleep. So yeah, I'm gonna take some of this cherry juice. Because, yeah, I don't see that being a good thing if I just stay up all night. And I'm looking to keep my cat up because he keeps trying to go to sleep. But whenever I like move or something like that, or like watch a video, he wake back up. Because, you know, cats are like sleepers. Oh, um, hold on. I might be getting a little tired. I might be getting a little tired. My words started to jumble there. So we're going to have some of this. I need to do my face care. And then we're going to try to go to sleep. It's officially 125 in the morning. I'm not even that tired, but I have to force myself to go to sleep because I had work in the morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.